Damn. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to undergroundwellness.com fitness. Today we're working with the kettlebells. Now the kettlebells are something that I really haven't used that much. I've probably used them once or twice in my life. And so check this out. I have the internationally known kettlebell expert, one of my classmates in college. I haven't even seen him since then. We've got Steve Cotter on the show. Steve, thanks so much for coming on, Thank my man. You. I totally appreciate you taking your time to come out. We can find out more about you at fullcontact.com, right? Correct. So check out my man, fullcontact.com with a K. Steve, you're gonna show me some basic movements with the kettlebells, right? Correct. What are you gonna show me first? Okay, well, we gotta start from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Use your legs and connect the leg, up the lower body with the upper body. So we're gonna start with the kettlebell swing. Mm -hmm. All right. Now these kettlebells are all different weights, but uh, we'll, we'll start with a little bit lighter one, move up to a heavier one as you progress. It's all about perfecting the technique first. For sure. Okay. So, from here I want to take a basic athletic stance, like if you're going to do, say, a vertical jump, mm -hmm. or if you're playing defense, getting ready, okay? I want the swing to load my hips, so one of the things about a kettlebell is, as the saying goes, you can't swing a barbell between your legs, okay? A kettlebell, you can swing between your legs, so now you're loading up that whole posterior chain. Now you're going to push from your heels against the ground. I want to extend my hips fully, just like if I was going to jump, or if I was going to hit somebody. Okay, so I flex, boom, and I, I extend, okay? With the breathing, uh, you wanna start with a light weight. We're gonna use anatomical breathing, matching. So that means as my body extends, I wanna take an in-breath, my body's out, and take an out-breath. Some people do that uh, opposite. Yeah. With a heavier weight, that's one thing, but with a lighter weight, we wanna keep it as an aerobic activity. I want my power to be in the load. So I'm loading. Okay, so I'm keeping, the, I'm keeping the power in the hips, keeping my arms and my body connected. Okay, loading of the exhale, inhale, standing up. That's right. Okay, that's good, set it down. Okay, so the only thing here we're, we're missing right now is you're kind of getting, from here with the hips, you're not fully extended. Okay, because for you that's a really light weight. So, want you to really extend those hips, boom. So we're gonna move up to a 16 kilo, it's 36 pounds. And I want you to just pop those hips fully forward, feel the hip flexors lengthening. Okay, like exactly, that? correct. Okay. Let's do a 10. Good, so you get a nice back swing behind you, that's good. It's gonna get better with more practice. You get more natural, you start moving into different weights. But the main thing is you wanna get a nice backswing, which you're doing. You wanna stand up, extend, which you're doing. And you wanna get that nice, crisp timing so your body stops at the right point. Okay, so again, reinforce. You wanna perfect your technique with a light to moderate weight, build your volume. And then when you can sustain a, a lot of volume, then you start moving up to the heavier weight. But you keep the relaxed movement. So just because I, I have a heavier kettlebell here, it doesn't mean that I'm trying to use excessive force. Okay? I want to use just the amount of force that I need. Because when I start getting into other lifts, like the snatch, I want to be able to be very fluid with my movements, very athletic, and also very very calm and relaxed because the whole idea with kettlebells is you have to be able to keep working. It's not five or ten and done. You might be doing it for ten minutes non-stop. Now I want you to do the swing again but with a one arm. So you, you have the basic timing. With the one arm you're going to grip the corner and you want to use a real strong grip with your thumb and index finger. Okay? As it swings behind you, you turn it so you have that spiral, thumb points back. Now I do the same movement using my legs and back with one hand. And I like to teach this with you keeping the thumb down. So when you're at the top, down. you're gonna just, yep, you're gonna keep it here okay. and follow back. And now you want both hands working together, so you use both parts of your back. That's really good, Sean, just like that. So, Once we master those, what should we do? Okay, so the swing's teaching you how to use your legs to generate the force. Now we wanna move the force upward, so a clean, is one of the most important lifts. It's a little more technical, okay, but 
you really got to learn the clean to be able to get to anything else because let's say in a in a daily activity if someone wants to lift something from the ground and put it overhead first they got to be able to use their stance to move the load and that's what the swing is teaching but then before they can get it over there they need to get it to a, a base so that's going to be what the clean is teaching is getting a load from the ground boom and bringing it up to this controlled position now you can use your body to get it overhead okay so that's really what we're doing with the clean is you, you start with the swing but now instead of coming out we want to come up and I want to bring it to my chest and it comes like this so it's, it's a little bit technical at first the way the kettlebell sits is really important. We don't want it up in the hand here. So here, because this here. Puts, exactly. This yeah. is a, a, a disadvantageous position mechanically for my wrist, and I'm going to get tired really fast. So I want it to be contacting on my wrist here and my hand here, diagonal. Okay. And then I want to be able to hold it over my center line of my body, not out to the side, because this will start going like this as I get tired. I want to hold, use my frame, and then I do this movement repetitively again under control okay so that's a clean and again I'm using my legs using my back as well as the upper body pulling muscles okay biceps deltoid and so on Let me try this out and that's what you want you have to be a perfectionist with this you have to pay attention to the, the small details right there just hit this a little more yeah good you correct yeah because right so you don't want it to drift where now your arm becomes disengaged. You want to pull it over in so that it's connected. Right, and a couple more. Good. Try a couple more. A couple of dozen more. <laughs> That's it. As long as it's getting better. It's getting better. <laughs> you're reinforcing. If you can keep going, then you're doing it right. Because if you're doing it wrong, you won't be able to keep going. You'll get injured or your body will break down. Cool. Okay. Alright, okay. You got one more for us? Yep. So now you have a load from the ground. We did the swing, two hand, one hand. Now you bring it up. Now you have to have it overhead. That's the lockout. Okay. Once you have the lockout, you can start doing all the other stuff. Uh -huh. Okay? So just, just show us this one. So we bring it to the clean. You keep it over your center of mass, not to the outside. And you lock out. As much as possible, I want my arm close to my head and I want to have this slightly behind me, over my hips, over my feet. I'm locked out, I'm under control. So the elbow should be locked under load. Okay, now when I bring it down, I just let it fall. I can actively pull it down, but that's more of a bodybuilding, that's more of a, I'm building tension there. That's not what I want. I want to just let it fall and focus on the press. Okay, now from here, when someone's moving to a heavier load, they want to make it more explosive, more, more uh, athletic, we start doing using the push press so I, I load the legs and use that power of the legs to launch it and then the arm kicks in boom so here you can go very fast and very powerful okay so if I want to focus more on mass and raw strength I would do a press no leg movement if I want to make it more athletic more of a power component I use that push press later we start getting into the jerk which adds a, another component. But in the beginning, it's a strict press and then a push press. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna have, have to practice that one. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you show us four movements. Yep. Show us the swing. Yep, so two hand swing, one hand swing. Uh-huh. The, the one arm clean. Uh-huh. The press uh -huh. and the push press. Fantastic, man. It's been extremely educational. It's cool to get to learn from the best, you know what I'm saying? Internationally known, my man. Thank you very Full much. Fullcontact.com, right, contact with the K. Check out my man Steve Cotter. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.